Hello everyone, I'm Subojit Panda from Odisha TV. In with today's top stories from across Odisha. Let's have a quick look at the top five headlines of the day. Employees of public sector banks stage demonstration as part of two-day nationwide strike. Luggage van of Bhubaneswar bound train catches fire. No casualty reported. Odisha DGP issues advisory to check mob attacks on innocent people over child theft suspicion. Plus two arts and commerce results to be declared by June first week. And CBI arrests prime accused in 2013 Puri triple murder case. Takes accused on 10 day remand. Now the details. Services in public sector banks across the state were today affected after employees took to street as part of the two day nationwide strike called by the United Forum of Bank Unions. Holding banners, staff of different government banks, including State Bank of India and Bank of India, staged demonstrations at various places, including Bhubaneswar and Rao Kela, pressing for various demands, including pay revision. The strike is expected to affect employees whose salaries are disbursed through any of the state-run banks on month end. However, the strike will not affect online banking transactions such as net banking, mobile banking and ATM transactions. Besides, private banks like Axis A Sorry. A fire broke out in the luggage van of Keuncha Bhubaneswar fast passenger train near Chiliki Dora station here this morning. However, no casualties, injuries or damage to the belongings of any passenger or other railway personnel aboard the train was reported. The luggage bogey was booked by the CRPF and the exact reason behind the flames is yet to be asserted. The damaged bogey was later removed by the railway officials. DGP RP Sharma has issued an advisory to check mob attacks on innocent people over child theft suspicion in several parts of the state. Speaking to media, Sharma said, Police have identified a few persons who are spreading the rumors on social media and stringent action will be taken against them. In a seven-point advisory, the DGP has instructed people not to spread rumors on social media platforms. He has also stated that it is wrong to presume a non-Odia person to be child thief and it is also a rumor that the thieves are stealing children for organ harvesting. The DGP has further requested people not to take the law into their hands as police and court are only empowered to take action. Social media are the rumors spread by the people. The people have been aware of the people. They have not been aware of the people. They have not been aware of the belongings and vehicles. It is illegal and illegal. It is illegal. Results of plus two arts and commerce examinations conducted by the Council of Higher Secondary Education, CHSE Odisha, will be declared by the first week of June. Briefing media persons, School and Mass Education Minister Badri Narayan Patra said the publication of the results will be delayed due to some disruptions in the evaluation process and manual entry of marks. Earlier on 19th May, CHSE Odisha had declared results of plus two science examinations. After declaration of the results, Patra had informed that the results of plus two arts and commerce are likely to be declared by the last week of May. Plus two ra ho jodiye arts ho commerce ra result baaki achi. Se sab manual entry ho chhi. Se toh ante ke samay lagi ho. Ebar sab parikha ra apna jaanche toh bahut bigna hi chhi. Parikha parichalan toh aram kari ki khata dekha sab utre bigna hua phare. Kichhi din ante ke bedam bhava. Gatta varsa tiris tarikir baar thala. Ebe ho panch sath din khade lagi ho adhika. Tuno फास्ट टू इक्सुदा जून फास्ट टू इक्सुदा ये रिजल्ट बात पे ऑफिशियल्स ऑफ सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑन ट्यूसडे अरेस्टेड द प्राइम एक्यूज इन 2013 पूरे ट्रिपल मर्डर केस अमित अग्रवाल फ्रॉम इंदौर एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड हिम बिफोर द कंसर्न्ड कोर्ट इन बुमनेश्वर it may be mentioned here that Amit, a resident of Mathura in Uttar Pradesh along with his wife Ankita Bansal, four-year-old son Divyanshu and seven-year-old daughter Vani had booked a room in Jamindar Palace in Puri on 9th December 2013. On 14 December 2013, his wife and two children were found dead under mysterious circumstances in the hotel. Forensic officials had pointed out that all the three deceased were drugged and later strangulated to death. Amit then had managed to give a slip to the Odisha police after committing the crime and was on the run for the last five years. 
Later, the case was handed over to the CBI. The Kolkata unit of the Central Investigating Agency was conducting a detailed probe into the incident. Acting on a tip-off, the CBI officials of Kolkata unit managed to arrest Amit from Indore today. The Odisha IS Officers Association on Tuesday condemned the recent incident where Union Minister Dharmendra Pradhan allegedly targeted State IT Department Secretary Ashok Meena during an event in Bhubaneswar. A delegation of the IS Association brought the matter to the notice of Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik and submitted a memorandum regarding the same. The IS body alleged that Union Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmendra Pradhan in a speech during the inaugural ceremony of NIC's data centre in Bhubaneswar had targeted IT Secretary Ashok Meena on Monday. Strongly condemning such incident, the IS Association in its memorandum stated, Recent episodes in Odisha and other parts of the country wherein officers, while discharging their professional duties, have been personally attacked by senior members of political executive are a direct attempt to defy the constitutional values. Body of a constable who was missing since yesterday was fished out of a pond on premises of the 6th Battalion in Katak this morning. The deceased, identified as M. Krishna Rao, hailed from Paralakhe Mundi in Gajapati district and was employed as a band constable in the battalion. As per reports, family members of Rao were unable to trace him after he left home yesterday. Some morning walkers spotted the body floating in the pond and informed police. A team of Odraf fished out the body and sent for post-mortem. Forest officials Tuesday rescued a spotted male deer from Mundara village under Brahmagiri forest range of Puri district. As per sources, the deer was spotted by the locals after it entered the human settlement, following which they immediately alerted the forest department officials. A team led by Brahmagiri forester Debrat Jali rushed to the spot and rescued the animal and brought it to the range office. The rescued animal has been released in the Balukhonda sanctuary. हरिणटा भल अवस्था अच्छे कि खंडिया खबर है कि पोषा हरिण भाई जाना पड़ी कहीं आम देख लु से हरिणर सेम जंगली हरिण भाया तार गति कि जना पड़ी आम हरिण टू आम बालुखंड सेंचुरी नहीं छाड़ीदेव बीजेडी एमएलए अरुण साहू फाउंड हिमसेल्फ इन अ स्पॉट फॉर ह्यूमिलिएटिंग नॉर्थ उड़ीसा यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट यूनियन प्रेसिडेंट तुषार नायक हु अलेस्ट दैट द लेजिस्लेटर मेड हिम डू सिट अप्स नायक वेंटेड हिज एंगर अगेंस्ट सच मिसबिहेवियर इन हिज फेसबुक पोस्ट येस्टरडे साइटिंग दैट ही वाज बिजी इन अ पब्लिक मीटिंग मिनिस्टर साहू डिक्लाइंड टू कमेंट ऑन द मैटर आफ्टर ओटीवी ट्राइड टू कांटेक्ट हिम ओवर फोन The Commissioner Police launched a two-day workshop at its headquarters in Bhubaneswar on Tuesday in collaboration with UNICEF to provide training to its staff on cracking cybercrime cases. The two-day workshop, training on cybercrime investigation for police officers, aims to provide training to police personnel of all police stations and outposts under the jurisdiction of Commissioner Police. Police Commissioner YB Khurania said at least 50 officers of Bhubaneswar and Katak UPD participated in the workshop yesterday while 50 more cops joined the training program today. The Regional Meteorological Department has informed that several parts of Odisha are likely to witness rainfall under the impact of a low pressure formed over Bay of Bengal. As per the forecast report, a well-marked low pressure over northeast Bay of Bengal has concentrated into a depression. and is centered some 715 km southeast of Baleshwar it is likely to further intensify into a deep depression during the next 6 hours and is likely to move north northeastwards and cross Myanmar and adjoining Bangladesh coasts between Kyakpu and Teknal tonight inform the met office rain and thunderstorm are likely to occur in several parts of Odisha before wrapping up a quick look at the headlines once again Employees of public sector bank staged demonstration as part of two-day nationwide strike. Luggage van of Bhubaneswar bound train catches fire. No casualty reported. Odisha DGP issues advisory to check mob attacks on innocent people over child theft suspicion. Plus two arts and commerce results to be declared by June first week. CBI arrests prime accused in 2013 Puri triple murder case takes accused on 10 day remand
That's all for today. For more news and updates, please log on to our website www.odisatv.in. Thanks for watching.